I decided to make a hard surface modeling tutorial this time. You see me use subdivision surface modifier often in my tutorials up to now, but boolean operations and bevel modifiers are used a lot for hard surface modeling. Please subscribe and leave a like if you think my tutorials are helpful. Make sure you have the bool tool add-in enabled and let's begin. Shift A to add a cube. You can certainly go into edit mode and press Ctrl B to bevel selected edges, but what's so great about Blender is that you can go for a non-destructive method. Let's undo that, move the cube up and add a bevel modifier instead. Enter 6 for segments, outer miter to arc, turn off clamp overlap, then adjust the amount. Shade smooth and check auto smooth. Let's add a cylinder and enter 64 for vertices. Rotate and scale in edit mode. I'm just positioning the cylinder in object mode. Once you're satisfied, shift select the cube and press Ctrl numpad slash for a slice operation. I'm gonna add another bevel modifier for a smaller amount while leaving the first bevel intact. This time three segments and change angle to 60. Select the cylinder slice and the original cube to copy the modifier. Let's add a cube for another slice. Like I always say, yours can be different. Just learn the technique while following along and you can apply to your projects. I unhid the cutter to move it down a bit. Again, control numpad slash. The order of the modifier stack is important. Move the boolean operation above the second bevel. The shading is pretty ugly, so let's add a weighted normal modifier. Hi. 
hide the cutter and add another cylinder. I've rotated, scaled, and positioned it. I want four of them, so I'm adding a mirror modifier in the X and Z axis. I want to move the top ones down, so apply the modifier and move them down in edit mode. This time press Ctrl numpad minus for a difference operation. Don't panic, just rearrange the modifier stack. Before we hide the cutter, I want to bevel these top faces outward. To do that, Move these faces close to the cube's surface and press Alt-N to flip normals. What I'm going to do with this slice is delete unnecessary modifiers and apply the boolean. I can then inset and extrude to shape it the way I want. However, it looks like I cannot apply the boolean modifier. If this happens, it's because the slice operation made it share information. Just click on this number under object data properties to make it single user. Now we can apply the modifier. Inset, extrude, and inset a little again. Then extrude out and scale. Add a bevel modifier and adjust values. Let's add another cube for our last slice. I'm going to bevel these edges like before.
press Ctrl numpad slash, change the stack order and adjust the cutter and bevel amount until you have satisfactory result. I've assigned number 0 to toggle show wire frame. I use it to see where bevel segments can give trouble. Let's add a weighted normal modifier for both and we're done. Adding materials is pretty straightforward, but you have to make all objects single users before adding them. Add a new material and raise metallic value to 1 and lower roughness value just a tiny bit. Again these values all depend on your preference not mine. I'm gonna use the same material, but click on this number to make a new material based on the first material. Click on rendered view, change the render engine to cycles and press numpad 0 for camera view. I'm just trying out different colors in cycles mode.
How was the hard surface modeling tutorial? Hope you found it useful and I'll see you soon with another interesting tutorial. Thanks for watching.